couple of nice tracks of elephant that have been around here, been moving in this area, picking up mud, rolling around. There's some skin marks. You can see the fine detail in the skin. Um, and yeah, just a whole host of other things around. Might be terrapins in the water here. Um, <clears throat> and I've always been very envious of these animals on a hot day sitting in the water and you drive past and you're like, it's so hot, I just want to relieve myself getting to a pool. So I've decided today is the day. I'm going to jump into this water and wallow like a buffalo. <laughs> I should probably roll around a bit, get the mud on my back. <laughs> Imagine just sitting here, rechewing the cud for the entire day. It's better than sitting in a swimming pool. Getting a free spa treatment as well. A nice mud bath. I'm not going to chuck this on my face though. But yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> so after this, I'm going to walk out, do the same as a buffalo does, and go and look for a tree to rub myself off. I'm not that big. If you look here, this is where a warthog had rubbed himself off. And a bit higher, I don't know if you want to see this, is a buffalo's hair, where he, or wildebeest maybe, where they rubbed themselves. I'm not seeing any good, oh, there's one where elephants were using. Of elephant. This is about the back height, shoulder height of the elephant. They came past here and took some off. Often where buffalo have rubbed themselves off, even with warthogs, you can find ticks stuck in the mud. So if I had a bunch of ticks on, we could look for one and showed you. But yeah, crazy. <laughs> I'm feeling lovely. It's nice and cool. Might get back in there. Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for war as well. 